Hi, this is Fadi Hayek with SSL, and I'm going to take you through the AlphaLink products today. Uh, the AlphaLink product came from a company that we acquired recently called Cydec. Uh, they've been developing a product called Soundscape for some time, as well as other products like Mixpander. Uh, so this company is now part of the SSL uh, product line, and we just recently released some new technology uh, in the way of this new product called AlphaLink. Uh, AlphaLink comes in three varieties, the AlphaLink Matty SX, the AlphaLink Matty AX, and the AlphaLink AX. Now all three units co uh, come with 24 channels of analog to digital conversion. That's the case with all three. The Matty SX model comes with 24 channels of AES-EBU, where the Matty AX and the uh, AlphaLink AX come with 24 channels of ADAT light pipe. Now the AlphaLink MADI SX and the MADI AX also carry 64 channels of optical MADI connection, connections on the back. Uh, so that means you can connect these to any MADI based compatible system as well as of course connect them to any AES EBU or in the case of the MADI AX uh, ADAT light pipe connections. Uh, the unit is designed to be completely independent of the computer, so you can run it basically with any digital audio workstation. A couple of points to make about the converters is the converters will function in 24 channels of I.O. right along with the uh, digital I.O.s. So that means when you're utilizing the 24 channels of analog, you'll also be able to access all 24 channels of digital I.O.s at the same time. This is sort of unique, actually, in this day and age, because most, most units like this require you to disable either the analog IOs to use the digital IOs or vice versa. That's not the case here. Here, you can actually utilize all 48 of the analog and digital IOs together, so you can get a lot of flexibility out of the routing. The other thing is that you can route between, you can use the front panel to route between any of the digital I.O. through analog I.O. sources, meaning that you can take um, MADI and convert it to AES, or MADI and convert it to analog, and vice versa, in whatever combination you choose to. And that, of course, can all be done on board the front panel. The, all the Alpha Link products also come with an onboard clock, which can not only be utilized as a master clock for your digital audio workstation, but can also be used as a master clock for other devices as well because you have um, um, word clock input and word clock output. Plus, the word clock input will accept video clock in, so you can also synchronize it to other sources, for example, like video clock. The Alpha Links also come with a MIDI in, uh, sorry, uh, with a MIDI in and a MIDI out as well as a headphone jack on the front panel. All right, just to give you an idea of uh, how this product sounds, I've set up a quick little song here. We're multi-tracking out of the alpha. I'll give you a few seconds. You can hear the song really quick. So it's, uh, it's capable of doing 24-bit, uh, 96 kilohertz A to D, D to A conversion. Uh, you can also, of course, because of the fact that they are totally independent, they can be utilized with practically any digital audio workstation that you want to utilize it with. Uh, one point that needs to be made is we've also released an additional product called the Delta Link. Now the Delta Link is this unit over here. Uh, the purpose of the Delta Link is actually to be able to convert uh, Pro Tools HD signal from your HD card and convert it directly to MADI. Now, uh, we released this, car, this unit with the uh, intention to uh, make it very easy for digital audio console uh, users 
to connect to their Pro Tools systems. Because currently, if you're working with a digital audio console, like for example, an SSL console or an AMS Neve digital console, or a Euphonics console, most of these consoles utilize the MADI platform. And the reason why they do that is because it's a very simple either single optical or a single coaxial cable that carries up to 64 channels on it. Now, in contrast, if you were doing AES EBU, that could be lots and lots of cables utilizing you know, AES 25 pin D sub. So it's very impractical when you have a console that can do, you know, let's say 200 channels, to be able to route multi channel digital I.O. MADI is ideal for that purpose. Uh, however, connecting your Pro Tools HD to that console is very complicated because you actually have to connect uh, your HD card to your HD192 converter and then purchase the optional AES converter and convert from, from, uh, to AES from there and then convert through an additional box that will convert AES to MADI and then you can go into your console. So there's an awful lot of little steps in between that are required for you to go from your Pro Tools HD into the board. The nice thing about the Delta Link is that it does that directly. You just simply connect your HD card right to the back of the unit. The, the Delta Link itself has two HD inputs on it that will carry up to 32 channels of, uh, of I.O. between the Delta Link and the Pro, the Pro Tools system. Uh, and then on the, on the flip side of that, you've got two uh, optical IOs that can support up to 64 channels about. Uh, so depending on what sample rate you're in, uh, from 44 to 192, will depend on how many channels. Uh, MADI itself works uh, in a way that if you start at 44 or 48, you actually have 64 channel capability. When you go to 96, that capability goes to 32 channels, and when you go to 192, that capability goes to 16 channels. So depending on which sample rate you're running at will depend on how many inputs and outputs you get out of the, um, out of the Delta Link. But uh, once you take it, uh, but once you do that, you basically have a very simple interconnection right into your MADI system. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring that up um, is if you're not using a MADI system, what's great about this, if you own a Pro Tools HD, is you can actually then take your MADI connection out of the Delta Link and feed it MADI right into the Alpha Link, utilizing the AES, uh, sorry, the SSL converters that are in the um, Alpha Link itself as your front end for your Pro Tools system. So in that way, you're able to uh, utilize our converters if you choose to as an alternative uh, solution to your HD system. So that being said, you're able to really get uh, a lot of flexibility out of these IOs. And plus, because they do have so many, uh, so many inputs and outputs, they're very, very cost effective. Uh, the MADI versions of the AX and the SX are 3595 MSRP. And the Delta Link itself is 3995. Now, there was one additional unit that I want to mention, which is the non-MADI version. Now, we chose to release one unit that does not have MADI for a reason. All of these alpha links have an additional port called the TDM port. Now, that port is a large multi-pin connection that feeds to our proprietary bus card, which is called the Mixpander. Now, I have a Mixpander here in my uh, laptop system. Uh, the Mixpander itself is a 64-channel ASIO-based sound card, effectively. So with it, you can actually, if you look over here in our workstation, you can have up to 64 inputs and 64 outputs uh, in and out of your ASIO-based workstation. So um, with this, you're able to connect using this proprietary cable right into the alpha link itself and have a complete workstation solution with a bus card that goes right into your computer. One other point to make about the card is that not only is it a, uh, an ASIO sound card, but it's also a DSP card. And the DSPs can actually be used 
for several things. For example, they could be used for zero latency mixing. Like I have a mixer that's opened up here. This is basically the control panel of the Mixpander. And you can see you have uh, effect sends. You can also build additional effects just by selecting this channel here. And I can pull up plugins that basically live on the card. Now, initially when you buy the product, you get a set of basic effects like that, that contain things like reverbs, digital delays, chorus, flangers, dynamics, processors. So you get these essential, essential plugins with the card. However, because the card uses an open technology that's already been established by uh, Sidec with Soundscape, there are plenty of third-party developers already making products for this card. So for example, here's a, uh, an Algorithmics EQ that is modeling uh, the API e equalizer. So you could basically purchase this as an additional uh, purchase that you download off of the SSL website and utilize it without, without actually having to use up any power on your computer. All, this, all these plugins are actually residing in the DSP of the card itself. The Mixpander is available for Windows currently, and it's 1295 MSRP. Uh, and the non matty version of the AlphaLink, so the AlphaLink AX, is 2695. So for roughly around $4,000, you get uh, 24 channels of analog A to D utilizing SSL converters with additional 24 channels of ADAT light pipe and a sound card that achieves 64 inputs and outputs out of your computer plus onboard DSP. Really nice package that's very, very powerful, very professional. And that is the AlphaLink Delta Link Mixbander combination. Thank you.